NVIDIA is an American multinational technology company based in California. It designs graphics processing units or GPUs for the gaming and professional markets, as well as system on a chip units or SOCs for the mobile computing and automotive market. In addition to GPU manufacturing, NVIDIA provides parallel processing capabilities to researchers and scientists to allow them to efficiently run high performance applications. They are deployed in supercomputing sites around the world. More recently, it has moved into the mobile computing market, where it produces Tegra mobile processors for smartphones and tablets, as well as vehicle navigation and entertainment systems. NVIDIA popularized the GPU and gets the vast majority of its revenue from these specialized chips, and is rapidly expanding into fields such as artificial intelligence. NVIDIA competes with Intel and AMD for the top spot in the GPU industry. Its GPU product brands are aimed at specialized markets including GeForce for gamers, Quadro for designers, Tesla and DGX for AI data scientists and big data researchers, plus Grid for cloud-based visual computing users. Its Tegra brand integrates an entire computer onto a single chip and incorporates GPUs and multi-core central processing units, or CPUs, to drive supercomputing for mobile gaming and entertainment devices, as well as autonomous robots, drones and cars. The company's processor has created platforms that address four markets – gaming, professional visualization, data center and automotive. Its offerings include NVIDIA DGX AI supercomputer, the NVIDIA Drive AI car computing platform and the GeForce Now cloud gaming service. NVIDIA generates its revenue primarily from sales of GPUs. Its largest segment is GPU which accounted for 87% of total revenues in fiscal year 2019 while the other segment, Tegra Processors, contributed the remaining 13% to top-line revenue. The revenue stream coming in at number 5 is Auto. This segment comprises of in-car computer operating and autonomous driving systems. As the industry begins to deploy autonomous driving technology, NVIDIA is leading the way in delivering a complete end-to-end -end solution, including data center infrastructure, software toolkits, libraries and frameworks, as well as high-performance, energy-efficient compute for safer, more efficient transport. Though NVIDIA has announced partnerships with an impressive array of automakers, Tier 1 suppliers and technology startups to eventually bring completely autonomous vehicles to the masses, a key step in this process will be government review and regulation of full autonomous vehicles, which will require massive quantities of driving safety data upon which to base decisions. Either way, NVIDIA will profit immensely by supplying its chips to this ongoing revolution in one of the world's largest industries. NVIDIA's automotive business was impacted in early 2020, with the segment pulling in just $111 million US dollars in revenue for the quarter. This was down on both a quarterly and yearly basis, with the latter representing a 47% drop in revenues. According to comments made on NVIDIA's earnings call, automotive production bottomed out in April due to COVID hurting revenue for the segment. The auto segment ended up being slower in Q1 FY21. The segment booked $155 million in revenue, which is down 7% from the year ago quarter. NVIDIA's automotive business moves at a much different pace than its GPU businesses, because it's not set to really take off until self-driving cars become a reality. Next up at number 4 is OEM and IP. The OEM and IP business consists of royalty payments such as Intel's cross-licensing agreement. This agreement alone is responsible for $66 million per quarter in royalties, and at essentially 100% gross margin. The remainder of this business is made up of low-end graphics chips that aren't considered gaming, professional visualization, data center, or Tegra processors. PC and notebook OEMs such as Dell, HP, and Toshiba pay NVIDIA for its GPUs. NVIDIA earned $146 million in revenue for Q2 2020. Among other things, this is the segment where NVIDIA books its entry-level laptop GPU sales and it's those products that help to drive revenues higher. If you're enjoying this style of video, feel free to give it a like to let me know and subscribe for more. At number 3 we have Professional Visualization. The Quadro chips around which the Professional Visualization platform is organised are built to cater for the needs of high-end professional graphics users such as engineers, designers and artists whose work requires them to produce highly detailed graphical renderings. 
This allows end users to utilize emerging design techniques such as deep learning and fluid simulation. This segment saw $203 million in Q2 FY21 revenue, which is down significantly both on a quarterly and yearly basis. After enjoying a mild bump in Q1 due to the coronavirus pandemic, office closures and other changes have begun suppressing ongoing demand, with both laptop and desktop sales declining. For the same reason, this has driven higher sales of virtualization slash cloud products for remote working. Coming in at number two is Data Center. NVIDIA supplies the hardware that runs most of the major cloud provider companies, including Amazon, Microsoft, Google, Alibaba, and Baidu. Interestingly, NVIDIA powers 70% of the world's supercomputers and eight out of the top 10. The big news in Q2 FY21 was NVIDIA's data center revenue, which at 1.75 billion US dollars for the first time surpassed NVIDIA's gaming revenue. A significant contributor to this shift was Mellanox's networking products, which contributed over 30% to NVIDIA's data center revenues. But even without Mellanox's gear, NVIDIA's comparable GPU-centric data center revenue would be over 1.2 billion, surpassing even last quarter's numbers. Among several firsts, Q2 is also the first full quarter for A100 chip revenue for NVIDIA. Even a quarter later, A100 production is still ramping and is nowhere near the majority of NVIDIA's data center GPU sales. But the high performance accelerator is helping to further grow NVIDIA's already sizable data center GPU revenues. Finally coming in at number one is gaming. NVIDIA sells its high end GPUs directly to consumers through retailers. They have continuously led the way with the best graphic cards available on the market and consumers confirm this by voting with their wallets and being reflected in NVIDIA's largest revenue segment. NVIDIA's gaming revenue closed out another record quarter with $1.65 billion in revenue. This was up almost 25% on both a yearly and quarterly basis, with NVIDIA finding itself the usual beneficiary of the current coronavirus pandemic. With people largely staying isolated and staying home, video gaming is on the rise, and according to NVIDIA, this has also boosted gaming GPU and system-on-a-chip sales. Going forward, it will be interesting to see if gaming revenue remains solidly in first place for NVIDIA, or if data center revenue ends up jockeying for this position. Both segments are expected to grow, especially as NVIDIA prepares for the impending launch of the next generation GeForce video cards. A strong showing in the late year could give gaming revenue one more, possibly its last hurrah, as NVIDIA's largest segment. NVIDIA's business mixture has slowly been changing over the years, with data center revenues slowly becoming their largest source of income. Gaming is still a large component of their revenues, however, with the world continuing to transition to cloud computing, there is going to be a massive need for the most powerful and efficient chips to run these data centers, and this leaves NVIDIA with plenty of room to grow. Overall, with data center revenue starting to overtake gaming revenue, it is an important step in the company's long-term goal of diversifying beyond just graphics cards. There's no longer a question of whether NVIDIA has made it as a compute company rather than a gaming graphics company. And this is a big factor in NVIDIA's market cap recently surpassing Intel's. Let me know in the comments what you think of NVIDIA and whether they will continue to lead the semiconductor industry. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more stock market investing and business news. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.